2022 has come and gone, and I would love to talk about our accomplishments from this past year. Nkwa Oku is our dictionary web app that uses the Eboy API under the hood. We were able to add Insibidi for more than 40% of our word entries with the help of our Insibidi experts, Eze and Uche, who have been dedicated to ensuring that we not only input this very important data, but we also input it consistently and accurately. Adding Insibidi has not only set our product apart from other Igbo dictionaries, but it has shown that there is a growing interest and desire for Insibidi to be included in Igbo content and Igbo literature and just Igbo resources in general. On top of having Insibidi being added to Nkwa Oku, we've actually been able to grow our team of lexicographers with the help of the Lacuna Fund grant that we received later in 2022. With the help of this grant, we've been able to increase the number of words that we offer inside the Igbo API to almost 4,000 Igbo words and 9,000 examples example Igbo sentences. With this increased data along with our learning platform where we plan to release more courses that teach Igbo and Insibidi, we've also grown our user base to 700 users which is massive. The great thing about Nkwa Oku is that it surfaces the benefits of the Igbo API to a much broader audience. But let's talk about specifically about the improvements that we've been focusing on for the Igbo API itself. The Igbo API is software that enables developers to build their own projects with the use of word and example Igbo sentences that we have available in our database. Additionally, the Igbo API is used under the hood to power Nkwa Oku. Within this past year, we've been able to have more than 100 developer tokens generated for the Igbo API. This is a great number because it shows that there are many developers who need to have access to high quality Igbo data in order for them to create their specific and unique projects. We've been extending the literal structure of how we organize our data inside of the database. I'll make a future video detailing these updates very specifically, but we've been expanding it to improve performance and flexibility in search so our developers and just general users are able to take advantage of searching for specific words that they're looking for. Another huge accomplishment is that we have 166 stars on GitHub. We would love to have more people starring our GitHub repo, forking it, making suggestions, changing it. And I just want to shout out all the contributors on our GitHub repo who've been catching typos, updating our readme or documentation, or suggesting internationalization, or just general changes to be made and introduced to this project. The increased number of GitHub stars that we have on our repo corresponds to the growth that we've experienced within our community. Our volunteer community consists more of 150 members, which is a huge number that allows us to tap into different skill sets and interests from people within our community. Without this volunteer community size, we wouldn't be able to make the progress that we've been making in addition to having a lot more you know, social media awareness and just online presence in general. So to all of our volunteer members, old and new, active or inactive, I just want to say thank you for sharing and showing your interest in the project. This past year has been massive for our contributions to Insibidi compared to the year prior. Our two Insibidi specific lexicographers, Eze and Uche, have been directly contributing to the number of word entries that have Insibidi entries. They not only see the opportunity to add Insibidi to word entries, but they also speak on the quality and how we structure our data to catalog Insibidi accurately for each of our word entries. At the time of this recording, we have more than 1,700 word entries that have Insibidi associated with them, and that number is going to continue to increase at a very impressive rate in the coming months. Additionally, we've also started adding support for Insibidi for our example sentences. So if you're using Nkwa Oku and you're taking a look at certain words here and there, you'll start to notice that example sentences are also translated or written in Insibidi. We plan on adding Insibidi for all of our example sentences in the future, but this is a process that will take time and a lot of community support and effort. So if you know people who are interested in Insibidi, who know how to write and use Insibidi, or just wanna have their opinions be heard about this writing script, please reach out to us at our company email. We would love to get in contact with you. Finally, on the topic of Insibidi, we realized that adding Insibidi to a lot of our word entries and example sentence entries is a great opportunity for people to actually learn how to write in Insibidi. So we plan on releasing more Insibidi courses on Qual Open Learning in 2023. To make it even easier for people to gain access to our Igbo API word and example sentence data, we made a Chrome extension that allows our users to search for words in Igbo or English by highlighting text in any window within their browser. This is great for our regular users who are reading Igbo text on a fairly consistent manner. Let's say that you're going to you know, BBC Igbo News and you just want to read an article, but you come across a couple words here and there that you're not too familiar with. The Chrome extension is the perfect tool to support you in reading so you can expand your vocabulary and be able to read more confidently through Igbo text. 
The great thing about the Chrome extension on top of being able to search for words and give you quick and easy definitions and audio pronunciations is that if you run across a word that doesn't exist in our database, the extension will give you the opportunity to add that word to our database as a suggestion for our professional lexicographers to review and approve at a later time. So not only are you able to read more Ebo text a lot more confidently, but you're also able to contribute back to our data set to improve it for the next user who comes across the same exact word. A huge effort for 2022 was to increase our efforts by seeking out funding, and I'm glad that we were able to receive the Lacuna Fund grant, which makes it incredibly possible for us to add a significantly higher amount of data to the Ebo API data set. This is our largest grant that enables us to hire a full team of Ebo language experts for a long 12 month period. This means that we're able to establish a more streamlined timeline for us to add a lot more data to the Ebo API dataset. I'll talk about the deliverables for this grant in a future video, but for now, I just wanna let people know that we're extremely excited and privileged to be able to receive these funds in order to make our mission go that much larger and faster. This year also has been incredibly special in the sense that we've been able to collaborate with more organizations who believe in our mission. We've been working with the UIU where they've been leveraging our technology to integrate new tools and features within their workplace community. Also, I would love to say thank you to Oko ID for supporting our cause specifically for sharing out our Twitter polls. And speaking of Twitter polls, one new initiative that we started this year that pushes the Igbo language forward is called Constructed Terms. Constructed Terms is a new initiative where we are creating brand new Igbo words. We wanted to make sure that this process of creating new words isn't undefined or hard to explain, so we created Notion documentation pages explaining our reasons for why we're doing something like this and how we're going about creating new words. So to make this process as transparent as possible, these Notion documentation pages are public and anyone can view them, even suggest edits or amendments or updates to it so that it can be even more transparent and helpful for future readers. But we didn't want to create these Igbo words in silos, so we decided to start running Twitter polls to engage with the Igbo speaking community to get their opinions, comments, or even concerns on these new words that we're creating. Although we have a detailed process that is listed in Notion and publicly available, it comes down to really if the Igbo community believes in the word and actually would want to start using it. So that's why we have these polls and we've been getting a lot of great engagement and feedback on some of these words. A lot of yeses and a lot of noes, which leads to people being engaged and very excited about the future of their own language. So if you would like to be able to vote, participate, suggest new words or anything, please follow us at our Twitter account and call Oku so you can be part of this very important movement. 2022 was also great because I was able to be featured in the NASDAQ Entrepreneurial Newsletter, where I was able to talk about the work that me, along with the Nkwaoku community, has been able to accomplish within this past year. I hope that we can get more features in media outlets, not only for myself, but also individual contributing members in 2023. One thing that I want to call out is the reason why this year was so successful and impactful was because of the great work that we've been accomplishing in 2021. And I have that same mentality looking forward into 2023. I have even bigger dreams and goals that I want to accomplish. And I recognize I'm only able to really dream about those goals and see them as a reality because of the work that we've completed in 2022. There are huge goals that I want to accomplish in 2023. Specifically, I want to create more advanced Igbo language technology. We've been collecting a lot of data for the Igbo API, and I want to start leveraging that technology to create something a lot more dynamic and exciting to use for our general user base. I want to seek even more funding. A lot of the big goals that we have require big money. So we're looking for advisors, mentorship, and specifically financial investment into the company so we can ensure that we can move faster in the direction that we want to go into. Third, we want to become an official Igbo dictionary. Think similar to Merriam-Webster or Oxford. We want researchers, lecturers, language experts, linguists, and everyone and anyone in between to really rely on this source as a place where they can get high quality, well-verified Igbo data. In order for us to accomplish this, we need to rely on a huge network of professional Igbo language experts. So if you are a lecturer, researcher, linguist, enthusiast, or anyone in between, please feel free to email us at our company email so we can get into contact and have a conversation. And lastly, I want to grow our social media presence and user base. So moving into 2023, I have a really good feeling that we're going to be able to accomplish a lot more, which is going to be so exciting. 
And on a final note, I realized I alone wouldn't have been able to accomplish even 1% of our amazing work this past year. So I want to say thank you to all the amazing volunteer members, donors, grantors, general supporters, followers on social media, family, friends, and everyone in between who've really seen the potential and value in what we've been building. And with that, I'll see you all in the next video.